Hey guys, Vizello here. So, I've made quite a few videos on Nintendo. I think at least at this point, I've made like half of my videos on my channel, probably more, have to do at least with Nintendo. So, when it comes to Nintendo and their products, I'm I I say that I have an opinion that's worth sharing. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about something that I haven't talked about before, and that is Nintendo's next handheld console, not home console. I've made two videos at this point talking about Nintendo's next home console, whatever they're going to do. But in this video, I want to talk about if Nintendo's going to specifically release a dedicated portable console after the Switch. Now, you have to keep in mind that these are my opinions, and if you have your own opinions, then you feel free to leave them in the comments. And also, whatever I share here is going to not affect your opinion. So, if you feel one way, we don't have to attack each other. Now, I have to make that clear before getting into this, just because I feel like this is a very opinionated discussion. But anyways, let's just get into this topic. So, the real motivation for Nintendo to make another portable console would be if they know it would sell well. And when it comes to Nintendo portable consoles, they've usually sold well. The 3DS sold somewhat good, It well by somewhat good, I mean it sold pretty good, it's sitting around like 75 million units right now, which is pretty decent. I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but it's doing pretty well right now. But it can't match the Game Boy, which I think is around like 100 million, and it's nowhere near the DS, which is still the second best selling console in general of all time, right behind the PS2. So... Nintendo home consoles, or I mean portable consoles, have sold pretty well, so I think that Nintendo would probably be interested in making another portable console because it probably would sell well if they did it right. However, the only problem, well there's two problems, the first thing is that Nintendo's made the Switch, and the Switch is a home console and a portable console, so Nintendo wouldn't really be releasing another portable console while the Switch is still relevant because then they would be cannibalizing themselves. It doesn't really make sense for them to release a 4DS, whatever Nintendo's going to make, while the Switch is still... And secondly, believe it or not, the space for dedicated portable consoles is shrinking. Like, consoles have been becoming more and more powerful, and it's hard to fit that on into, like, a portable console. And on top of that... Portable consoles just haven't been doing as well as they used to be, and the main reason for that is because smartphones exist. So people would rather pull out their smartphone and play on that rather than buy a 3DS or a PS Vita, which that shows in the PS Vita sales. So obviously, you know, portable consoles aren't selling as well, but when it comes to Nintendo portable consoles, they still sell well. So it's kind of conflicting for Nintendo if they were to release another portable console. But... Let's get into the opinionated part. So, is Nintendo going to be releasing another portable console? In my opinion, I'm going to have to say yes. And by portable, I'm thinking we're going to see something like a Switch Mini, like the rumors we just heard back, where it'll be like a Nintendo Switch, however, the controllers are merged with the actual console and you can't dock it. I know that there's flaws to that design. But if, like, for younger people, I feel like it would work better because they'd have, you know, it would be more portable, it'd be smaller, and, you know, like, people would rather, well, like, younger, by younger people, I mean more of, like, um, people under the age of 12, kids, around there, they would probably be more interested in getting a smaller console that plays the same games that's more portable and, of course, you don't have to have all of these moving parts with it, which might be... I'm not going to say, like, kids are going to swallow it, but I'm going to say, like, like kids are probably... Like, children are probably better to be working with something that's more just, you know, the whole package right when you pick it out of the box. Now, I'm not saying that 100% what Nintendo's going to do. They could very well not release a Switch Mini... But I just feel like a Switch Mini is going to be something that we're going to... But that doesn't really count as a full portable console. A full portable console would be like the next wave for Nintendo, not just a new version of, like, the Switch. And personally, I don't see Nintendo making another portable console. And the reason for that is because Nintendo's merged their 
handheld and home division together to create the Switch. And I feel like Nintendo is either going to keep the that merge together and keep making Switch-like products for a while, or, and I think they're going to do this, they're going to turn their, their, um, their portable division into another half for their home console division, and they're going to keep making home consoles. Now, I did touch on one of my other videos talking about what Nintendo's next console is going to be, more referring to the home console part, that... Nintendo might be making smartphones, like there's no leaks or like, rumors going towards it, but that could definitely be something that could happen, and Nintendo might turn their handheld division into a smartphone division, but I feel like for now we're just going to be not seeing any new portable consoles from Nintendo, and the reason for that is that I feel like when the Switch is time is up, then handheld consoles will be at a point where it won't really make sense to release one. I feel like the handheld consoles at that point, like dedicated handheld consoles, will be a thing of the past. That may be depressing to hear, but like Nintendo, PlayStation, like all those handheld consoles are probably not going to be manufactured or produced. Like I said, Nintendo can do absolutely anything. I don't work at Nintendo. And I'm not soon to be Nintendo's new president. I have a feeling a lot of you want to talk about that, or want me to talk about that. But I'm not going to be Nintendo's next president. I have no idea what they're doing. So, I can't predict the future. But personally, I don't think we're going to see another portable console from Nintendo. You may not like to hear that, and I don't like hearing that either. But to me, it just doesn't really make sense like as a business from a business perspective. For Nintendo to release another portable console after the Switch. Now, when it comes to home consoles, I've made already two videos about that. And just to sum up what I... You can check out those videos if you want. But just to sum up really briefly of what I think, I feel like Nintendo is just going to focus, put all their eggs in one basket and focus on their next home console after the Switch. I don't feel like we're going to see another, you know, portable console. We might see something else. But I feel like that home consoles are the future for Nintendo. Will Nintendo run with that smartphone idea I had? I have no idea. That would be very left field. But again, Nintendo is the king of left field. So we have no idea. That'd be kind of cool though to actually just have a phone that's made by Nintendo and just playing like Super Mario Run on it. That would be interesting. But still at this point, I'm not really thinking that we're going to see another portable console. I'd like to see one, but I feel like the market is just shifting in a direction that Nintendo does not want to go in. But of course, those are just my opinions, and if you have your own opinions, then please leave them in the comments. If you want to check out my other videos, and if you want to stay up to date for future videos, you can subscribe to my channel, but that's always up to you. Please keep that in mind before doing anything on my channel. It's totally up to you if you want to do anything. I'm not trying to force you to subscribe, like quite a lot of our YouTubers. If you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. That includes my Twitter, my Google+, my Facebook, even though I don't really use it that much, and my Discord, which I'm kind of renovating right now. But of course, again, it's totally up to you if you want to. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.